Hi everyone, this is Ada. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is all about Miss Belle. She's our precious Westie girl and she is five today. So I am going to make her a birthday cake and I thought I would um, just um, show you what I'm doing. I got this from Google. It's called the Spoiled Dog Cake Recipe. So we want to say happy birthday to Miss Belle. She's really important to us. We love her. Five is a big birthday. <laughs> She's being a bit um, nice to allow me to put this hat on because she doesn't like it. We just wanted to get some pictures of us, of, of her, I should say. Um, so, what do you think, Miss Belle? You're five. Mm -hmm. You're a princess and you're five. So, let me put her down. Let's take this off. We'll put this on later. Let's just want to wash my hands quickly. Okay, here we are. So, I wanted to make this for Belle because I like to celebrate their birthdays. They're my fur babies and she's my first fur baby. So I got this recipe and I searched everywhere for this recipe because they're now playing up both of them, Poppy and Belle. If people don't know, I have another Westie. She's only nine months old. They're down here. They're wondering what I'm doing. So as I was trying to say, <laughs> um, I wanted to look for a recipe that was suitable for a dog firstly, which that was important and also um, Belle and Poppy being Westies do tend to have more of a sensitive stomach so I want to look for something that they're going to tolerate and I knew that what's in this um, dog, spoiled dog cake recipe as it's called is probably going to be good for them so I'm going to walk you through so I have all my ingredients here and a piece of paper that says you know how to mix it all together so you need one cup of flour let me see if I can put that all in at, um, to begin with. Um, in a large bowl, combined flour and baking soda. Okay, so we have our one cup of flour here. And I am not the chef or the cook type, so this is a, this is a big deal for me. <laughs> um, previous years I'd always bought a cake, but I thought, how hard can this be? Okay, so the next is baking powder. So I need half a teaspoon of baking powder powder so let me open this oh get a spoon I'm making you a cake bell I'm making you a cake so let's do a half a teaspoon of that put all the rubbish there okay put that over there then it takes one eighth a cup of vegetable oil and the other recipes I found they had more oil and I really didn't want to put a lot of oil in because they tend to react to anything that's more oily or greasy or so that's why I went for this recipe which is only one eighth it also has peanut butter in it so so one eighth of that Ooh, I wonder if I was supposed to put that in oh yeah yep yep it's all right it's coming soon um, and then we have one quarter of a cup of peanut butter just make sure when you do the peanut butter because I did the research don't if you can no sugar in the peanut butter or no artificial sweetener I think they can tolerate sugar because there's sugar in this apple sauce I've got here but um, no artificial um, sweetener in the peanut butter that's toxic for dogs but this peanut butter which is a macro peanut butter has just peanuts in it so that's why I, I also was looking for that as well so that goes in Oh, it's very sticky, very sticky. Okay, it's sticky, but that will do. So, so one half a cup of apple sauce. I just got this in the sauce oil. It's the sort of apple sauce that you put on pork and anything like that so I'm use that half a cup of that oh yum yum what do you think Belle does that sound nice that. Um, the next one is half a cup of pumpkin puree I just got some um, is it butternut butter squash pumpkin and cooked it up yesterday and then just mashed it up so a half a cup of that Um, and then one egg so I'm going to mix this first and then put the egg in we also just took this out and just left it at room temperature as well 
just so it was sort of easier to mix. Oh, yummy, yummy. Not for us, of course. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to love it. Okay, let's do the egg. One egg. Mix it all in. Oh, it looks nice, Belle. Okay, so that's mixed, and what I'm what I'm going to do is I think it um, takes a bigger pan, but I've got this small one and this other one, so I'll probably just make the two. I'll only frost one, and I'll probably put the other one in the freezer because I don't want them to have too much of this because yeah, they will react if they don't you know have their normal diet. So let's just pour this in so I'll pour this in and I'll come back later and I'll show you the finished product and I'll show you the frosting the frosting is Greek yogurt with peanut butter and my girls get Greek yogurt on their food once a week so I was quite happy to have that so I'll come back and show you the finished product so I am back with my two cakes all finished um, I think one was a bit hot was a bit hot so it's it's turned out all right the good thing about it, it's a dog's cake and they're still going to love it. So even though it isn't perfect, they will still love it. So um, it took about 25 minutes. It said 25 minutes to 30 minutes to cook. Mine only took about 20, 25 minutes. So I have my Greek yogurt here and my peanut butter, which is going to be the frosting. And I'm going to mix these two together and we'll see what it looks like. And I've got my own little um, stand here and we'll put some candles on it, a happy birthday on it. Right there. So you're waiting for this? Are you waiting for this bell? So let's mix this in. Peanut butter is so sticky. Just do the best I can to get most of it out. Let's mix it. Let's see what the frosting looks like. Oh, yummy girls. The girls are just down here. No one can see them, but they're just down here watching me. They're ready for it. We actually might just put it on there so it doesn't matter if a little bit leaks over and I'm going to freeze the other one for another time. Yes, girls. No, not for now. They're jumping up. So let's just put this on. Oh, there's a lot of um, frosting for this size cake, but anyway. I hope you're going to be happy with this, girls. Okay. Should we go around the edges a bit? Let's go around the edges. Cover up Mummy's mistake. It doesn't smell that appetising, but I think they'll like it. Is this not appetising, girls? Do you think it is? Hmm? I think I could have done with less like a... Make it smooth. We'll try and make it smooth. Okay. We'll try and make it smooth. Are you wanting to eat this? Is this your birthday cake, Belle? Okay. Let's just. Oh, hang on. We need some more on the side here. Those will use it because I'm going to throw it out otherwise. So let's just try and make it look nice. You're not going to care, are you girls? Okay. As long as it tastes all right, you're not going to care.
Okay, let's smooth it over and that will do them. Okay, so I have a happy birthday. So let's put the happy birthday on and let's see how that looks. Okay, so now we just have to, oh, there's a bit there that hasn't been finished. Let's just finish that. So that spells a birthday cake and I'm going to now go and dish it up and see, we'll show you her eating it and see if she likes it. Yummy, yummy. please subscribe push like and follow me on instagram and don't forget everyone ate a love style see you again next time bye